My name is Shelly. I'm 22 years old and a private university student majoring in astronomy. I have my parents and my younger sister, Kayla, who is cute and smart since she was little and has always been at the top of her class in school and in everything. Compared to my sister, I am ordinary in terms of talent and appearance, and my parents discriminate against me, and my sister looks down on me. One day, when my sister went to Germany to study abroad, the problems that had been accumulating finally exploded. I'm in the middle of a lecture right now. Can I talk to you later? It's not a big deal, is it? I don't care. Just answer the phone, Shelly. And I don't care about your schedule. I told you to always answer my phone, didn't I? How many times have I told you? Ugh, there's no way I can do that. What a pain in the ass. So, what do you want? Like I said before, I'm in the middle of a lecture, so hurry up. Hey, did you hear about it? About what? Big news! Kayla got her PhD from a German university. Oh, right. She went to Germany to study from last year, right? That's great. Right. I was worried about her at first. Compared to you, Kayla is cute and brilliant, but to go abroad for two years? I really didn't feel like I'm breathing until now. But if she got PhD, that's a different story. Not that it's any of my business, but if you were so worried about her, you shouldn't have let her go abroad. You know, Kayla is a freshman. She's not a child anymore, and overseas is not as dangerous as you think. You. I've told you many times that Kayla can study better than you, and she's as pretty as a model or an actress. Anything could happen to her. She must be popular, unlike you. I'm sure she'd be in trouble if someone strange likes her. You on the other hand, are just a plain girl with nothing special to offer but looking at the stars and the moon in your spare time. And even though you go to a university, you haven't shown any success. It's like chalk and cheese. Don't make me laugh. You're talking like that again, Mom. That's enough. I don't want to hear it. I've told you many times. I'm your daughter too. Why are you so mean to me? Well, unfortunately, we're related by blood. I can't believe it, too, even though I'm your parent. I mean, it would have been fine with having only one daughter if you were as good-looking and studious as Kayla. But you weren't, so I had no choice but to give birth to Kayla and pin my hope. What a waste of time, effort, and money. I don't know where I went wrong. A waste of time? What do children mean to you? I'm looking forward to Kayla's future. I bet she'll do even better if she got her PhD from a German university. You're her big sister, so you should support her as much as you can. Don't ever drag her down. Don't worry, I won't get involved. Shelly! Kayla's coming back at the end of this month. I can't wait. Now that she'll be back, she's going to use her qualifications and experience she gained overseas, including her PhD. Your room should be hers. I want her to relax and enjoy herself. What? What do you mean by that, Mom? I mean exactly what it says. I'm asking you what it means. Answer me. I live in a dorm room, but that room belongs to me, right? She has her own room. I still have a lot of my important things there. But you know, she can't use her room now. Only your room is available. You know, it's your fault. It's because you're addicted to fortune-telling and spirituality and bought all kinds of shady power stones or holy water from shady places like a fool. What do you mean like a fool? Those things are very sacred and important. I couldn't help it. No matter how literally brilliant she is, I was worried about that girl. You know I'm her mother. Besides, I was told that if I buy them, my daughter will be able to study abroad in peace and enjoy and be successful. And that's what happened. You shouldn't have taken that sketchy person's word for it and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy all those things and use the room as a storage. Besides, now that Kayla will be back and has met your expectations, you don't need them anymore. So if you get rid of all that stinky stuff, she can have her own room. And there shouldn't be any complaints or problems, right? 
No, you can't do that. She's going to spend the rest of her university life here, and in three years, she'll be working, remember? Her role is not over yet. If I throw them away, she might lose credits at university, waste her qualifications and knowledge, and most importantly, she might get into a bad company. And most importantly, she might end up working for a bad company. If that happens, can you take the responsibility? What is that? Overprotection has gone too far. Don't you realize that you're being tricked and wasting your money? I don't think Kayla, who brags so much about herself and has ability, would drop her credits and qualifications so easily. Because she's brilliant, right? If she fails her credits, it's her responsibility. And if she's going to work for a bad company, she should quit immediately and change her job, right? No, I don't want her to have such a hard time. Failure is not acceptable. Huh? Wait a minute. Then what about me? I was going to keep my mouth shut, but what about me? What the hell am I supposed to do? You don't care about me. I don't care about you, LOL. Do whatever you want. I have Kayla. Still, it's a student dorm. You're living alone. You're a big sister, so don't be such a baby. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. As if I'm a stranger. This is ridiculous. Don't you have any compassion as a mother? Do you only care about her that much? I don't have any tears for you. I don't expect anything from you. Kayla will do her best in Germany and bring back useful qualifications and knowledge so that me and her father will be safe in the future. That's why I'm going to get rid of everything in your room. LOL. Kayla's going to use it from now on. LOL, I'm busy, so bye. Wait, wait. Anyway, I'm going home now. Until then, don't touch my room. I told you, I have something important. Hey, what's this all about? How dare you? Did you completely ignore what I said? I told you not to touch my room until I come back. I didn't ignore you. I had no choice. Kayla was living abroad for two years where she's unfamiliar and now she's tired. There's also the time difference. And I wanted her to take a rest soon. She's my precious daughter. But does that mean you're really going to make my room her room? This is crazy. I told you. Kayla's room is filled with my precious lucky items. So the only room left is yours. You're a big sister and you're asking a lot. You're so brazen. You don't even live here now. I don't want to hear any more of that nonsense. What's wrong with you? You threw my novels clothes and all my stuff off the balcony didn't you and it had been raining like crazy that morning and the yard was muddy it made everything soggy and unusable why don't you just buy another novel or clothes besides useless it just got wet and soggy right you can dry the books and wash the clothes you know mom it's not just for me but do you know that you're causing a lot of trouble to the people living downstairs as well you know we live on the fourth floor, right? I apologize to them for you. I know. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't even know the strangers living downstairs. They won't even know it came from my place. LOL. You're insane. I had no idea you have no common sense and unaware of parental duties. Oh well, if you hate me that much, you don't have to come home anymore. I'll feel better if you don't come back. Huh? You're not my child. You've been nagging me from the beginning. If you don't like what I say, then fine. Go live on your own. Are you serious? You're not just crazy. You're insane. Even if I have your blood in me, you don't give a shit about me? You're persistent. I told you from the beginning that you're not my child, right? LOL. You say that far? You're so hopeless. I really didn't think you'd be this harsh. Whatever. You told me I'm crazy or insane. You are hopeless. Well, that's enough. If you insist, I'll break off the relationship between you and me. Wait a minute. Who are you talking to? I didn't raise you that way. Who I am talking to? Are you acting like a parent now? Don't make me laugh. What's wrong with me mentioning it? I can't think of you as my parent. You are a stranger. And to be honest, I can't deal with you, let alone Kayla. 
and I was thinking of leaving by the time she gets back from Germany. You really are a cocky little girl. If you want to break off the relationship, then fine. I've always thought that you're not my daughter in the first place. As of today, I'm done with you. Now get your belongings and get out. And don't come back. I don't need you to tell me. I don't want this house. I'm sick of it. I hope you have no regrets. Well, goodbye. Shelly, it's been a while. How are you? I was worried about you. I was wondering how you're doing. Who are you? Excuse me? I'm your mother. Did you forget? Mother? Hmm? Who are you talking about? And what are you talking about? I don't even have a family anymore, let alone a mother. I don't have time to talk about the old days with a stranger, so if you'll excuse me. What do you mean a stranger? It's only been two years since you ran away from home and you've forgotten your mother? Ugh, how can you be so brazen? You messed your own daughter's room, covered all my things in rain and mud and made them unusable. And then you said unbelievable things like you are not my child or I wasted a lot of time and effort on you. I don't think you can call yourself a mother after all of that. But what are you here to tell me now? Mothers say things like that to their children when they get frustrated. You know what I mean. I was just taking it out on you. I mean, it's your fault for making me frustrated in the first place. Talking to you just makes me more irritable. You know we call this crap? And this is a very stupid one. So what do you want? I thought you're getting frustrated talking to me again. I mean, we both will. Don't tell me you want me to come back home. Don't worry. That's not what I want to tell you. This is very embarrassing to say, but I want you to send us money. Huh? Sending money? Are you kidding me? Why? Actually, Kayla got a job at LL Company after she graduated from university using the qualifications and knowledge she gained in Germany. But two months ago, she suddenly quit. What? LL Company is... I believe it's a major German manufacturer that's well-known in the U.S., right? Let me ask you why she quit. It seems like she didn't get along with her boss. He scolded her in front of everyone. What? Is that the only reason? Kayla didn't have enough money to go shopping, so she borrowed some money from the cash box. Well, that's absolutely a wrong action. Borrowing a little money? That's embezzlement or a thief. An employee must do it. She would get caught. But if she only got scolded, she was lucky. Thanks to those good luck items, LOL. But he didn't have to scold her in front of everyone as a warning. Poor thing. She was so embarrassed and angry that she slapped her boss and it made it hard for her to stay there. Her hand must have hurt too. Poor Kayla. That's 100% or even 300% her fault. She deserves it. Embezzling money and then slapping your boss? That's hopeless. So let me ask you something. She didn't quit. She was fired, right? No, I told them on the phone that Kayla is quitting. Even in a big company, there are things you can do and things you shouldn't do. I can't have Kayla work with a boss who would hurt her. Even though she's heartbroken, she is looking for a next job. But she can't seem to find a job because no company has a good eye for her. Kayla says, I'm tired. I'm hurt. I'm going to rest. And she stopped looking for a job and stays in her room most of the time. What? You called the company? That's insane. So she has no job now? She embezzled money and now she's a shut-in? LOL. Hey, don't say like that. You still feel inferiority? She's just hurt because she got yelled at by an adult for the first time. She's a sensitive girl. Anyway, she's just resting and will be back in the world soon. Unlike you, she's a perfect girl. After all, Kayla is so brilliant and different compared to others that she got her PhD in Germany. Thanks for the parental advice, which I'm sick of after two years. Well, I understand most of the situation, but why do I have to send you money? I'm already done with you guys, remember? You even told me not to come back too. In the first place, you were able to live by buying so many lucky items and spending so much money that you turned Kayla's former room into a storeroom, right? You didn't need my money to live until now. 
so you don't need me to send it to you. Are you up to something? It's not that. It's just your father fell ill. Huh? Last week, I woke up one morning and he was lying next to the bed. He's still in the hospital because of the stroke, in addition to his deteriorating health due to overwork and stress. Because of the stroke, he will no longer be able to move the left side of his body, so I'm afraid he won't be able to continue working. What is that? That's a terrible situation. Even though I haven't seen him, that's still worrisome. You could have told me about that even if we are in this relationship. Our relationship is one of the reasons, but also because I didn't think it was worth mentioning to you. Besides, I didn't want you to come back. Anyway, things have changed. He can't work anymore. He seems to be able to get a pension and I'm reluctantly working part-time jobs, but we're a little short on living expenses. If things continue like this, I can't even buy Kayla clothes and other things like I used to. She will have a hard time. It will be fine until Kayla gets a job and our life becomes stable, so please send us some money. Even if you are incompetent, you can at least help your pretty sister, right? Please return the favor I've done for you until now. I'm disappointed if that's all you can say. You're such a jerk. What? After I left, I didn't block you, hoping that you guys would say sorry for the last chance, since you were my family. But after all, there was not a single word of apology, and Kayla kept texting me of abuse, checking me that I'm still alive and making fun of me as if she was spending her spare time. And today, your stupid request made me realize that my hope was useless. So, whatever. Shelly, I'm blocking your number as of today, and I'm changing my number. I'll never send money home, I'll never go back to your house like before, and I've realized that I never want to talk to you again. So think like I don't exist, it's better for both of us. What did you say? You think I'm going to let you do that? What are parents to you? I had a hard time giving birth to you, but you couldn't get a job at a decent school or company. At least send money back to your parents and be a good daughter. Don't make us upset. There you go. See, you won't change. Do you know that I have a heart too? Just because I didn't follow you, you treated me like I was incompetent and even abandoned me, saying I wasn't your child. But I worked, earned my own money, moved into a university dorm, and became an independent person. And I'm still working and studying in university to become an astronomer. I'm staying grounded for the life. I'm not being taken care of you. On the other hand, How's Kayla? She's a gifted person who is proud of being able to do anything. And on top of that, you guys took great care of her. How did she end up? Unlike Kayla who became unemployed because she underestimated the world itself, let alone society, I'm different. So why should I have to help her when she treated me like that and made me break off relationship with you guys? Since that day two years ago, I have no obligation to clean up Kayla's mess let alone be your slave, you know? Don't you think it's too selfish of you to ask me for help now after you made fun of me so much and agreed to cut me off? You're so cocky! Is that how you talk to your parents? Anyway, there's still a chance for Kayla who got her PhD. She's just in a bit of a slump right now. When she gets a new job, I'll leave you alone this time, so just shut up and send us money. PhD, hey... Do you think it's really true? Well, she is certainly a brilliant girl, so there's a chance she could get it on her own, but... Huh? What do you mean? What? That's Kayla making out with a German student in this picture, right? Look closely. You're a pretty girl. Actually, when Kayla was studying abroad, a friend of mine who went to the same university as me went to Germany for fun. She saw this scene on her way back from a dinner with her friends and took a picture of it and sent it to me. Wait a minute. Then a friend told me this interesting story that Kayla was dating some guys and having sex with them and got answers of essays and exams as a reward. That's how she got the credits and passed grades she needed for her PhD so easily. You can come up with that naughty things if you're gorgeous and smart, huh? Easily? That's ridiculous. Kayla wouldn't do that. 
Don't be surprised yet. Here, this. Hey! This was sent to me by another friend of mine who works part-time at a club. And he said that every day, Kayla was playing with a bunch of guys like this. She even gave allowance to her favorite one every day. I wonder where the money came from. No way! Kayla is not... These are all fake! She's so easy. She used the money from LL Company to give it to them, perhaps? It's impossible for her to play with so many guys at the club every day and give them pocket money. I'm sure she's probably in debt as well. And also, she should have used your money and those bogus items in that storeroom, right? What? Oh God! All of them in that room are gone! And she even took more than half of the money from our accounts! Oh, I knew it. Now you see? And let me tell you once again, I won't send you any money and I don't want anything from you guys when you say you'll buy me what I want. So, think this as a divine punishment for kicking me out and raising Kayla to be such a super selfish piece of shit. You just have to give up and go broke or work yourself to death. I'm going to completely cut myself off from you this time, so I'll leave everything to you guys. Wait a minute! Don't abandon us! I'm sorry for what I've done! Let's be a family again, and I'll make Kayla and your father apologize! And when our lives settle down, I'll pay you back double what I owe! I promise! So please, forgive us and help us, Shelly! It's too late. Well, you know, what goes around comes around. You deserve it. Well then, good luck with your pretty girl. Goodbye, ex-mom. As I declared, I blocked my ex-mom, ex-dad, and ex-sister's numbers, and the next day, I changed my number on my phone. After this, I heard from a friend who lives near my parents' house that my ex-mom asked Kayla whether it was a fact or not, and she said, Oh, you knew? So what? It's not a big deal. I'm special, right? She wasn't sorry at all, so they got into a big fight which contained a cursed words and throwing things. Ex-mom's anger ended up in vain and Kayla did not look for a job at all, saying, I am not a person who is pushed by others. She never used her knowledge, qualifications, or PhD, which she earned by cheating. She shut herself and stayed unemployed. She spent money on clubs and gambles, stole mom's salary and dad's pension, and has accumulated even more debt. Furthermore, my ex-dad has dementia, due to the stress of being hospitalized and not being able to move his left side of his body freely and has started to hit my ex-mom, who was taking care of him. She was exhausted by working part-time that she was not used to, taking care of ex-dad and dealing with Kayla, who was not working, asking mom for money and having a debt. And finally, she was hospitalized in a mental hospital. The house was sold to help Kayla pay off her debts, and then, she was chased by some scary guys and is now nowhere to be found. So, my ex-family, who loved my brilliant sister and excluded me from the family, has ended up in a big collapse. It hurts my heart a little, but I will not look back. I've learned a lot from this family. I will live my life humbly as a compassionate person while devoting myself to my dream of becoming an astronomer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.